Something that can be really confusing when you first start working with Cisco routers and switches is the concept of modes. In this example, I've connected to the console of the Cisco router. As you can see here, I've connected to the console of my router. It says routercon0 is now available. Press return to get started. So I'll press enter or return. Notice I'm in user mode or user exec mode. It's called exec mode because when you type a command and then press enter or return, that command is executed. User mode allows you to do basic show commands. Options like ping and trace route can be used. So if I press question mark here, I can see various commands available to me. This is a very restricted mode. As an example, I cannot reload the router here, but I can show IP addresses on various interfaces by using the command show IP interface brief. So we can see gigabit 000 has this IP address configured. From user mode, I need to use the command enable to go to privilege mode or privilege exec mode or enable mode for short. Here, many, many more commands are available to me. I can, as an example, reload the router here. So I could type reload in 10 to reload the router in 10 minutes. Now it's saying my config has changed. Do I want to save those changes? I'm going to say no. Notice reload is scheduled in 10 minutes and I press enter to confirm the reload. From privilege mode, I can use the command configure terminal and I'm pressing tab to auto complete the commands. So conf t or configure terminal to go to global configuration mode. This is where I can configure global options for the router. Many other commands are available here, but as an example, host name, and then I'll specify name R1 allows me to change the router name from router to R1. And from here, I can go to sub mode. So I could type router OSPF. This allows me to configure a routing protocol. Exit takes me back to global configuration mode. Exit again takes me back to privilege mode or enable mode. And disable takes me back to user mode. Very important that you understand the various exact modes like user mode, privilege mode or enable mode, global configuration mode and sub modes such as config interface or config router, etc. when working with Cisco devices.